Okay, so real quick, I want to do kind of a precursor video to branch programming. This is going to be discussing what is known as Boolean data, and it's going to be critical understanding how it works before we get to actual branches, specifically conditional branches. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Okay, the Boolean data. This is built off the concept of what is known as Boolean algebra, which is a branch of algebra that handles what is known as truth values. So we have two very common ones, true and false. So this is going to be built off the idea of propositional logic, which is an entirely different branch of mathematics. It's discrete mathematics. It's something I teach in a different course. But for the sake of programming, we're just going to look at the actual Boolean aspect which is going to be looking at ones and zeros. Now, true and false are going to be important later on in a few slides, but essentially everything we're going to be dealing with is in forms of ones and zeros. So in C, there is no actual Boolean data type. It doesn't exist in the actual language itself, but we do have access to bools through the use of a library. So that library is sedbool.h. And you can see we're using it here, so we include it here. And you can see we have bool, bool true equals true. This would be the same thing as again, they are just expressed as simple integers of zero and one. This bool, bool true equals true is the same as int bool true equals one. Same thing. And then for bool, bool false equals false. This would be the same thing as int here, int, and then zero. It's not a big deal. So we have the SCD bool if we want to have a bit more of a straightforward approach on what we're dealing with, as opposed to just throwing zeros and ones everywhere. It's kind of the same idea of using constant variables opposed to actual integer literals. So kind of a similar idea, but you can see here that we have printf true is percent %d, bool true, yes it is a bool type, but it's still an integer at the end of the day, and if we print out, we get true is 1, false is 0. So that is the basis of how Boolean data works. We have 1 for true, 0 for false. So we have two different types of operators we're going to look at. First one is going to be relational operations. And these are going to be fundamental when it comes to branch programming. Like, very, very commonly used. Now, you won't use them like I have here very frequently. You'll use them in the form of a branch as opposed to actually getting data from anything. Now, it's not possible, as obvious I'm doing it here. But let's take a look. We have two ints here x and y x equals 5 y equals 8 and then i have a few lines just printing out some data where we have greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to is equal to which is double equals and then this exclamation mark or bang equals which would be not equal to so we're just gonna look at the actual logic here so is 5 greater than 8 no so we get a zero for false for false and 5 is greater than or equal to 8, that is also false, so it's 0. 5 is less than 8, that is true, so we get 1. 5 is less than or equal to 8, also true, so we get a 1. 5 is equal to 8, not true, so we get false. And then 5 is not equal to 8, this is true, so we get 1. You can see us doing the operations right over here. And then there is a graph here kind of to describe what's going on. So you can see the operator here on the left hand. These, these should be pretty straightforward. If you see greater than or equal to, it's the same thing as seeing greater than or equal to, like you've seen a lot of the time. And this is doing equality. It's not the same thing as saying, say, int var equals five. So this is assigning data. Whereas doing this equals equals is checking for equality. So equal to. So they have 98 equals equals 98. This is true because these are the same value. They are equal to each other. 
And then we have, I know a lot of people do something like this to say, hey, this is not equal to, so like a equal sign with a slash through it. Well, for programming, we have the exclamation mark equals meaning not equals. And you understand what I mean by not here and just a bit. But then you have 10 is not equal to nine, which gives us a one because this is true and is not equal to nine. Now, following up, we have the idea of logical operations. So this is going to be some actual fundamental props and logic operations, but they also extend into Boolean operations and we'll just view them in the form of propositional logic, but getting Boolean data, essentially. So what we have here, we call them now, is logical operations. So we have bool t equals true, bool f equals false, and then you see we have the notation of double ampersand, double bar or pipe, whatever you want to call this, it's called by a lot of things, and then another exclamation mark. So. If we look at the actual outputs we're getting, we have one double ampersand zero is zero. One double, I call them pipes, so double pipe zero is one, and then exclamation mark one is zero. So these are individual operations. So this is and, this is or, and this is not. And we're gonna touch on these individually going forward. So. Again, same thing, we have a graph here with three different operators. So we have the AND operator, double ampersand, OR operator is double pipes, and then the NOT operator is an exclamation mark. So, logical AND. It works the same as Boolean multiplication, where we simply multiply the values together. So, earlier we had one ampersand ampersand zero equals zero. This is the same as doing one times zero is zero. If I want to do zero and it was zero get zero and so forth the only time that we and values together and get one is if both are one so if we do a table real quick zero 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 one one zero one one and and all these so zero and it was zero 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 and it with one is zero one and it was zero zero one and with one is one so again it's the same thing as multiplying by zero for these we end up with zero as a result which would be false so same thing if you just place all those zeros with f and all the ones with true you have what is known as a truth table in properties of logic and then these one and times one here gives us one the only time we should get one from an and operation if both inputs are true or in this case one and you can see that over here in the actual code we have one 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 zero zero one zero zero it's backwards of our over here sorry for that but the only time in our output that we get one on the side is when both inputs are also one so and both inputs to the operation must be true for the result to be true Again, same idea of multiplication. Moving on, we have OR, which is the double pipe. So it's the same idea as Boolean addition, where we're doing, we're just adding the values together, with kind of the exception that one plus one equals one, because you only have zero and one to work with. It's a little bit weird to think about, but it's not too bad. So the only time that OR results in zero is if both are zero. So if we do a table, I'm going to do the table somewhere here. So 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 plus 1, that's 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 0 plus 0 is 0. Again, this top one up here is not 2, so 1 plus 1 is going to be 1 in this case. So it's the only kind of oddball here. And then again, you see the same thing with the double pipes over here. 1 or with 1 gives us 1, 1 or with 0 gives us 1, 0 or with 1 is 1, and 0 or with 0 is 0. So overall, not too bad. And then moving on, we have the idea of logical not, which is essentially just taking whatever we put in 
and swapping it to the other ones. We put in true, we get false, and false, we get true. So in this case, you can see we have exclamation mark one gives us zero, exclamation mark zero gives us one. The same idea where we had not equals two. That's why we use the exclamation mark for that operation. So overall, that is about all we have for Boolean data. It's really not too much, but I wanted to show those different operations, the relation operations, and then the logical operations because they will be used quite extensively during branch programming and just programming in general. It's used quite a lot. So I wanted to do a separate video showing how the actual data is being processed behind the scenes. Because whenever you start doing branches, you're not gonna really think too much about do I get a one or a zero out, do I get true or false? You're just gonna start going through the motions. And if you get lost, stringing together a bunch of, say, relational operations. So like one thing we could do is say, this relational operation ended with another relational operation if we wanted to have like a range or something, then processing the data of what you're getting is going to be critical to understand, do you have the actual logic set up properly. So understanding the underlying logic of these different conditional setups is very, very important. And it's where a lot of people get very lost when it comes to doing more complex programming. So overall, I really do hope that there was some substance to this video that it's gonna be helpful and that you learned something. So all being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.